Hi, I'm Mike Upton, elder of The Turning Point. I was recently watching a YouTube uh, series called The Chosen, which, by the way, I would highly recommend, depicting the life of Jesus. And there's a scene that took me back to a scripture that I fell in love with long, long ago in John 3, 8. And it has to do with Jesus' interaction with Nicodemus, who is a, a rabbi and member of the ruling uh, Jewish council. And in that talking about being born again, Jesus says in John 3, 8, The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but do not know where it comes from or where it is going. And so is everyone born of the Spirit. And I love that verse because it's uh, particularly poetic to me, but it also reminds me that when I am baptized with water and the Spirit, that really now the Spirit is taking control of my life and it's perhaps moving me through events, people, uh, ideas, in ways that I, I wouldn't have anticipated. And I need to be comfortable with that. And certainly in these times, you know, our lives are being turned upside down in many ways. And we need to keep reminding ourselves that it's the Spirit who's in control and that I, I relinquished that when I decided to follow Christ. It also reminded me of winds and how fickle they can be, whether they're a soft breeze blowing to refresh ourselves on a hot day, but sometimes they can be gale force winds. And it took me to Matthew chapter 7, verse 24, where Jesus is talking again about the wise and foolish builders. And uh, whether you build your house, your life, on the foundation of a rock or on the sand. And in either case, life brings challenges. And in this case, there are violent storms. There's uh, strong winds and torrents and floods that are going to beat against that house and really test the foundation of what, how are you building your house when the tests come? Are you going to be able to stand? Is your life going to fall apart or are you going to stand firm on the teachings of Christ and putting them into practice? And I think even now, you know, in the middle of the storm may not be the best time to uh, check our foundations, but at the same time, it does reveal perhaps cracks or weaknesses and looking at our lives and depending on Jesus' words and putting him into practice, having others help us in that effort. But is it worry? Is it just being self-controlled? Is, um, is it lust? Is it uh, your prayer life? What, what are the areas where you really want to reinforce your foundation? And I think these are great times and, again, great reveals of, you know, how you're doing in various different areas. So hopefully this will encourage you and help direct you in some ways. I appreciate you listening and have a great day.